Alright, so I was really not expecting uh, to talk to you guys till later today. Talking about the first four games of the Blue Jays spring training and how things are looking. Um, however, the Blue Jays have signed free agent Sangwan O, oh, former St. Louis Cardinals closer. And this guy's only played two years in the big leagues. He's a 33-year-old veteran, so he was over in Japan for quite a long time. Or Korea, where I actually totally don't know where he played. However, this guy's had a tale of two seasons with the Cardinals. His first season, my goodness, he was dynamite as the closer. 6-3 and three record, 192 earn run average, 19 saves. You know, he had 103 strikeouts in his 79 innings. He was fantastic. Then you look at this season, a 1-6 record with a 4-10 ERA, 20 saves, uh, only 44, 50, 54 strikeouts in 59 innings. So a really down season for him. However, the Blue Jays just signed him on a one-year deal worth $2 million. A very low-risk, high-reward type of move for the Jays. This guy has had closer experience the last two years with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, he's been through the, the, the playoffs a little bit. You know, I, I, I don't know. I think this is a very, very solid move. Because if this guy really works out, boy, oh boy, there's, there's your Dominic Leone replacement. Right? And, of course, the Jays making another move for a former Cardinal. Acquiring Randall Gritchick earlier and now saying 1-0. Oh. But what this guy brings is depth in the bullpen. And we talked about that being in need. Obviously, the fifth star in the rotation. That kind of got filled up with Jaime Garcia. Um, I don't know. This team... They're, they're filling some holes. And when I look at this team, the, the, the one spot where I'm a little iffy about is the backup catcher position. We saw Luke Maley last year. We, we I mean, I'm not I'm not sold on him yet. Uh, Danny Jansen is a guy in the in AAA last year who was playing fantastic. Ran through the system. Uh, he's obviously in spring training right now with the Jays. We'll break him down a little bit later. But he's a guy that could make a push uh, for that backup role for Russell Martin this year. Again, this team has filled a lot of their holes. Adding a guy like Seng Wano, who has had a lot of closer experience. If he, I mean, he had a tough start to last year, uh, but he, he slowly started to find it as the season went on. So we're hoping that he can recapture uh, the type of season he put together in 2016 and the latter half of the 2017 season. But it's a very good move. Like I said, very low risk, high reward type of move. One year... $2 million. If he's bad, you let him walk. That's it. It's not a bad thing. He's a veteran guy. And that's, all it, that's never a bad thing to have. He's only pitched two years in the big league, so he's a veteran because of his age. But as for MLB experience, this will only be his third season in the bigs. I want to hear what you guys have to say, though. Is there anybody else that you were looking out there and like, yeah, I wish they went after this guy instead? Or, or, or do you guys like this move? And where do you think Seng Wan Oh fits on this team? Now, if you look at his totals from a year ago, yes, they're a lot different than his 2016 season. Yeah, I'm looking at his innings pitched. He pitched 20 less innings. Uh, he, what? He gave up um, 10 more earned runs in less in, in 20 less innings. Uh, he gave up 11 more runs. He gave up 13 more hits. Gave up five more home runs. He walked less batters, but that's understandable. So a lot of things were were elevated this past season for Sang Wan Oh compared to his rookie season in 2016. Do you think that he can recapture that form, that 2016 Sang Wan Oh, or will he be more or less like last year's? I want to hear what you guys have to say. But again, like I said, low risk, high reward type of move for the Jays. You know, and I don't need to break this down too much more because that's all it is. This guy could be a setup guy. If Roberto Osuna is struggling, this guy can have a save. You know, if, if he works out for this team. I want to hear what you guys have to say. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. I'm going to keep it short because it's not a big, eye-popping move. Uh, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What did you guys think of this move? Do you think it's a good move for the team? Where do you think he fits? And uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, tonight, Leafs edition could be a little bit, uh, probably going to be a little bit later as I have baseball until 11. That video will be out to you guys maybe about 11.30, maybe a little bit later. Uh, same with the Raptors, kind of the same deal there. 
Um, I mean, what leaves in Tampa taking on the Lightning? Um, you know, the Raptors, uh, they're looking to rebound after that really, really, really tough loss to Milwaukee uh, a few nights ago. It was Friday night. Um, you know, they they really need to because with Boston winning lately. You know that lead, that two game lead we have with one loss, and they won on their day on the uh, what is it on Saturday as well. They they beat uh, they beat New York. So they're only half a game behind us now. So we got to come and do our thing. The Detroit Pistons come to town tonight, seven thirty tip off. And as for the Blue Jays, we'll talk to you guys um, what in a few hours, I guess. As we break down the first four games of spring training, who's impressed, who is not? I mean, it's still early to tell, but we'll break that down in a few hours. We'll talk to you guys then.